Good evening. Well, in Minnesota today, it has been miserable. 95 with a heat indice of 115. So it's time to take a look at the garden. And I've already been out here and watered everything. Thank God I had water stored up from all the rain we had last couple days ago because that way I didn't have to haul water out so let's begin <sighs> herb pot <sighs> yeah it's hanging in there um, cilantro is starting to develop seed shoots which I have been plucking off. I need to come out and cut basil and parsley, and I'll probably cut some more of the cilantro back and dry. Uh, leaf lettuce and arugula. The arugula is coming up great, and I can start thinning it now, and those thinnings will go into baby's bowl. Little lavender plant. Oh, boy, this just doesn't seem to be my year for growing this stuff. It's just small and tiny. I've been cutting it back like I'm supposed to, but it's really not doing too hot. Carrots, yeah, we've got a few. But as you can see, the pea vines are gone. I took the last of them out day before yesterday, pulled the last few pea pods off, and cut the vines back. Now, if we cool off a little bit, I will restart another batch. Ah, broccoli. Yeah, it's mostly just leaves. I don't see much for brock. And we have kale, and it's coming up very good, and I can start thinning it also. Experiment. Growing like a weed, I'll be trimming tomorrow and drying it, drying it for this winter. Dill, growing great. This year I haven't seen any aphids, so that makes me very happy. Radishes, growing them for the greens is fine, but I really like a radish once in a while in a salad. I got one radish this year. This is spinach and it's doing pretty good. So it's chamomile and I've come out and trimmed a lot of the buds that the petals are no longer standing up like this. Those are get dried for the winter. Sweet peas, and if you give me a second, I'll show you something that I spotted today. Sweet peas, and right there is the first flower that I've seen. Yeah, they're really behind, but they're in honor of my beautiful girl, and I miss her so much. I'm willing to wait. This is this was green beans. They basically got torn up really bad in the wind. There was only about four beans left. So I pulled them, cut off the green, pulled the roots, and I will be restarting another batch of beans. But I'm gonna soak the seeds to give them a head start. That way they get going good. That's what's left of beans. Really? Beans and pea vines right there. And I'm trying to make a decision to whether or not I put them in the composter. If I do the composter, all that has to be chopped up in the blender and it's so dried out, I don't think it would be worth it. So most likely I'm gonna throw them away. It's now down to 89 degrees. I don't know what the humidity is or what the dew point is. 
But man, it's muggy. You can cut it and spread it like on bread like butter. It is that sticky. AC has been running constantly all day, even on Energy Saver. So, we're talking it's supposed to be cooler tomorrow. I'll believe that when I see it. We were supposed to get rain today, but that did not happen. It went north of us, it went south of us, but we didn't get a drop of it. And there's a possibility that we may get some tonight, but I don't think so. But it does seem like it's a little better. That's a pool. Have not seen any ducks in it since Mama and the babies were rescued out. Although I did see a Mama duck come back with no babies, but mostly just to take a bath. I wish the creek wasn't so far away because I would have taken her to the creek and her and the babies to the creek. That way they would have had a fighting chance. We have so many storm sewers around here. I'm afraid that she lost most of them. So I'm going to close tonight. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and a great weekend. Don't sweat to death. Bye.